Welcome to ExcelWorks video tutorials. The title of this presentation is How to generate a surface plot from scattered XYZ data points in Excel and Google Sheets with the function grid XYZ. Suppose you have collected some empirical scattered XYZ data points with unknown surface function description. In this presentation we will show you how to interpolate your data onto a uniform rectilinear grid with the function grid XYZ in both Microsoft Excel and Google Sheets. We'll also show you how to generate a surface plot in Excel using the interpolated data on the uniform grid. Let's begin by introducing the function grid XYZ. Grid XYZ takes four required parameters. The first parameter is a two-column array of your scattered XY points coordinates. The second parameter is the corresponding Z values at these points. The third parameter is a row vector containing the uniform X coordinates for the rectilinear grid. And the fourth parameter is a column vector containing the uniform Y coordinates of the rectilinear grid. As shown in the figure here, the X coordinates for the grid are laid out in a row and the Y coordinates of the grid are laid down as a vector as shown in the figure. The interpolated value will be computed in the highlighted yellow range in the figure. Grid XYZ is based on natural neighbor interpolation algorithm. Grid XYZ function is not a standard function in Excel or Google Sheets. In order to enable Grid XYZ function in Excel, you have to install the Excelab Calculus Functions add-in. If you're running Excel on a Windows PC, download and install Excelab 7 from excel-works.com. On an Apple Mac, you can install it directly from the Microsoft App Stores. From your Excel ribbon, click Insert, Get Add-ins, search for the Calculus add-in and add it. In Google Sheets, you can install it directly from the Google Marketplace. To demonstrate the use of grid XYZ, we will sample some random points from a simple 2D function as shown here. Then we will map the random points onto a uniform rectilinear grid with the dimension 0, 01 by 0, 01 using the grid XYZ. Then we will generate a surface plot in Excel from the uniform grid values. We will do this demonstration in Excel, although the procedure is virtually the same in Google Sheets. However, in Google Sheets, there are no surface plots utilities. The surface plot utilities are only available in Excel. I've started my Excel here, and to save some time, I've already sampled about 50 plus points from the function sine pi x times cosine pi x. The points are arranged as three columns in A, B, and C, as shown in Excel. I'll begin now by generating my uniform X coordinates for the grid where I want to map these random points onto. Starting from zero, in an increment of 0.1, I'm going to generate my row X coordinates. Next, I'm going to generate my Y coordinates for the grid. Again, starting from 0, an increment of 0.1. And using autofill to generate the rest of the value. Next, I will use the grid XYZ function to map these random points onto the uniform grid. Starting from the top cell, right here. My first parameter for grid XYZ is the XY points. My second parameter is the corresponding Z values. My third parameter is the row X coordinates for my grid. And my fourth parameter is the column Y coordinates for my grid. Now I'm using Excel Lab 365 so I can take advantage of the auto spell feature and simply hit enter. And grid XYZ generates the interpolated Z values for us. 
to look up the z value at any grid location simply look up your x coordinate and y coordinate at, at the intersection cell will give you the z value at this location let's next plot the uh, surface using Excel 3D plots. I highlighted the entire data including the grid X and Y coordinates and I'm going to insert a surface plot. We can use the 3D rotation control to rotate the surface a little bit so we can have a better view or how the surface looks like. To obtain accurate interpolation results, it's important to understand a little bit how the na natural neighbor interpolation algorithm works. The natural neighbor algorithm generates a Voronoi diagram using your input random points, and then it relies on the relative weights of the areas around an interpolation point to interpolate the z values on this point. So it's very important that you have sufficient coverage around your interpolation points. If you happen not to have a sufficient coverage, for example if your data points are collinear, as shown in the figure here, the interpolation will likely fail locally or produce inaccurate results. Grid XYZ is an array formula by default because it generates an array output. So you have to run it as an array formula. If you are using Excel Lab 365, you can take advantage of the spell feature like we did in this tutorial. But if you are working with Excel Lab 7 on Windows, then this will not work. You will have to run it using the standard Control shift enter procedure. Let me demonstrate this for you in Excel. If you are using Excel Lab 365 or Google Sheets, as we have demonstrated, you can simply type in your formula and press enter and it will automatically spell into neighboring cells with the result. However, if you are using Excel Lab 7 on Windows platform or PC, that will not work. So let me do show you how to do this. I'm going to copy my formula here, and then I am going to delete this result. Now the way you want to run an array formula is first you have to highlight the output array, exactly where the results will, will be shown. Then in the formula bar, you're going to Type in your formula. I'm just going to copy it here. And now instead of pressing enter, you will press Control shift enter at the same time. Excel calculates, and it, as you notice here, it places the curly brackets around your formula to indicate that this result is an array formula. It's pretty much the same result, but it's a different mode of evaluating the formula. And that's the only way you can calculate this in Excel Lab 7 on a Windows PC. Next, let me describe a couple of advanced features when dealing with real-life experimental data. Typically, your data will be unsorted or it may contain duplicate measurements, multiple Z values for the same XY point. Grid XYZ handles these issues to automatically for you. It will average the values at a uh, it will average multiple values for the same XY point and it will take care of sorting the data. Another useful feature is to filter negative values, if you know, for example, that your surface should be all positive, you can use the control key non-neg Z by setting its value to true in optional parameter number 4, as shown in the formula. We have described the use of the grid XYZ function, which is part of the Excel Lab 7 calculus functions add-in. The adding contains a dozen of other calculus functions for solving all sorts of problems, including integration, differentiation, interpolation, solving equations, differential equations, and optimization. If you are interested in any of these problems, make sure to visit excel-works.com to see examples. Thank you.